These are the cardiovascular effects of inhaled anesthetics. Inhaled anesthetics have a negative ionotropic effect. Their primary mechanism is reduction of intracellular calcium in the myocardium. They affect both the L-type and the T-type calcium channels, and they inhibit the sodium-calcium exchanger. They reduce the calcium availability inside the cells and thus reduce the sensitivity of the contractile apparatus. Their cardiovascular effects are dose-dependent reductions in myocardial contractility, systemic vascular resistance, cardiac preload, and mean arterial pressure. All major volatile anesthetics, isoflurane, desflurane, and sevoflurane, depress myocardial contractility. Desflurane is unique in that if you rapidly increase its concentration, it can cause a temporary cardiovascular stimulation and increased contractility due to sympathetic stimulation. This is only when it's rapidly increasing, and once you reach a steady state, it'll have the same depressant effects as the others. The neonatal myocardium may be more sensitive to the negative ionotropic effects compared to adults as well. So here's a summary table. They're all largely the same. Um, nitrous oxide, you'll notice, is not like the others and does not have an effect on blood pressure, heart rate, SVR, or cardiac output. Also notably, sevoflurane tends to have no change in heart rate below 1 mac, but if you're greater than 1 mac, it can make the patient tachycardic.